I'm RJ Nestor, business and executive coach, and in this video, I'm going to talk you through very quickly installing the Rome 42 extension in your Rome Research Graph. This is necessary if you want to use Smart Blocks, uh, which Rome Hacker just added as a release to his Rome 42 extension. So all you have to do in order to do that is go to the web page rome42.com and that will redirect you here to his um, public Rome 42 graph. As you look on this page here, you'll know just a little way down here, you'll notice it says Rome 42 installation. When you click on that, that will take you over to the installation page where you can watch another video here. Uh, you can read the instructions or you can come down here. You can either copy this as is here. You know, it says copy from next line, highlight all of that, and then hit Control-C or Command-C, depending on what kind of system you're on. Or you can just click copy code from this button. If you click that button, it'll copy the code. So now you have what you need in order to be able to install this in your Rome Research Graph. So now you're going to go to your graph. This is my uh, sandbox demo graph here. And you need to create a page to house it. Well, I guess theoretically you could put it on the Daily Notes page, but it's better to create a page to house it. You notice I have a page here, Rome 42 JS. Um, actually, I deleted that so I can show you me adding it here. Rome 42 JS. Create that new page. And here we are. So now I have a Rome 42 JS page, the JS standing for JavaScript. That doesn't matter. It can be wherever. It could just be Rome 42. Um, this is where I have that. Now that I'm here, I already have that copied from the other page where I click the button. All I have to do is hit Control V or Command V to paste that right here. So now we have the code. This is the entire code for Rome 42 and its installation. You'll notice here you have a red button that says, yes, I know what I'm doing. This is Rome protecting itself from any JavaScript that may be running unsafely. It makes you actively turn on JavaScript. This is safe. Uh, Rome 42 is, is well tested. Uh, Rome Hacker takes that very seriously. So all you have to do now is click, yes, I know what I'm doing. And you bring that on. Then go ahead and reload your graph so that we can make sure that we get it running from scratch here. This will take a moment, but not too long because I don't have a ton in my demo graph. Now you'll notice up here in this, uh, in this uh, little bar up top, in addition to the normal things you have for Rome, you also have two more, a jump to date logo and then the Rome 42 menu. So Rome 42 is now installed in this graph, which means that you'll be able to use smart blocks or any of the other Rome 42 features from this graph. Uh, so I, I'm not going to talk about how to use smart blocks in this video. Uh, there are others that I'll be adding and one more that is it that I'm adding today. I'll include a link to that one down there that compares native Rome templates with the Rome 42 smart blocks. So you can kind of get a sense of the difference between them and when it's useful to use one or the other. But in this video, I wanted to keep it strictly to how to install Rome 42 in your graph. One little note, if you have a previous install or a beta install of Rome 42, Make sure you shut that off, um, you know, the stop the JavaScript. Uh, you don't want those running simultaneously. You just want the one running in there. And once you have that and you reload and you have it all running there, it's uh, very smooth uh, and runs just as though it were uh, in, in native Rome itself with the distinctions that I'll talk about with, uh, with the smart blocks. So uh, hopefully that's helpful for you in getting Rome 42 set up in your graph. Uh, one little note, um, I have a course called Your Road to Rome that if you like these sorts of tips that help you get more out of your Rome research, uh, that's a really can be a really nice uh, tool for you to have a better understanding of how the features in Rome can serve your needs. So if you're interested in something like that, there is a link down in the description to my course as well. You can kind of get a sense. There's some preview things. You can get a sense of whether that's right for you. And, and, and you can also contact me if you want to at me on Twitter or DM me on Twitter. I'm at RJ Nestor, uh, N-E-S-T-O-R. And uh, you can always talk to me there as well uh, as we uh, learn together how to make Rome valuable for all of us and, and to facilitate our work and our lives.